Writing Home, Episode 1 Hi, Mom. I'm sorry I haven't written for a while. But your baby boy is still alive, so you can stop worrying. It's all okay here. Benedict and Paolo are away. So I'm alone in the flat. The problem is now I have to remember my keys when I go out. I got home yesterday, no keys. So I'm standing there in the hall, like an idiot, when... Hello? Hello? Uh, who are you? Do you live here? Mm, yes, I am. I do, I mean, yes. I live in this flat here, with Benedita and Paolo. Are you our new neighbor? I live in this flat here, number 4A. Um, my name is Milton. And you're? May. May. Okay. Nice to meet you, May. Nice to meet you. Goodbye, then. Bye. Are you not going to your flat? Oh, well, uh, there's a bit of a problem. I haven't got the key. You haven't got the key? Are you sure you live there? Of course I live here. I told you. But I left my keys in the kitchen this morning. So what are you going to do? I don't know. I used to leave a key with my old friend Carolina on the ground floor. But she's gone away. Mm. Mm. You know you've got a small balcony outside your kitchen. Uh, yes. Well, so have we. Y yes. Well, I could climb from your balcony over to our balcony and get in through the kitchen window. I am not. Uh, I don't. I'll be careful. Don't worry. But I don't know you. How do I know you're not a criminal? You mean a burglar? <laughs> no, I told you. My name is Milton da Silva. I studied here in the UK. I can show you some... Ha! My old student card. Here. Uh, okay. So you are Milton da Silva, Newcastle University, School of Theatre Studies. You could be a burglar now. Really? Look, you can hold my bag with all my money and everything. Okay, come in. Go straight to the kitchen. That way. There you are. Job done. Okay. So, thanks for your help. Really. That's okay. Hey, May. Yes? Well, if we are neighbors now, I'm Milton. I'm from Brazil. I'm an actor. What about you? My name is May, and I'm from China. And are you studying here? No, I'm working. I have a job here, in IT. Do you like it? I don't know. I haven't started yet. I only left China last week. Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll all go well. I hope so. Okay, bye. Thanks again. Bye. So, we've got a new neighbor from China who thinks I might be a burglar. But she seems nice, and I think she quite liked me. And now I want to hear all your news. How's life in Florida? Give my love to Henry. And tell Alfredo to text me sometime. Lots of love, Milton.
Writing Home, Episode 2. Hello, Mum and Dad. How are you both? I'm sorry for not writing before, but I'm trying to organize my new flat and the furniture before I start work. My new flat is nice. <laughs> I'm not sure about the neighbors, though. I met one called Milton. The first day he didn't have his key and I thought he was a... a burglar, <laughs> which was embarrassing. Then yesterday... May, hello, are you in there? It's Milton. Hello? Mm, everything okay? Yes, everything's okay. Thank you. Um, I'm just going out. I'm going to work and I was wondering, well, if you could do me a favor. You know, after what happened before with the keys and climbing through the window and everything. You want to climb through my window again? <laughs> no, I don't want to do that again, ever. Which is why I want to ask you a favor. Do you think you could keep a spare key for me? Keep a spare key for you? Yeah, in case I forget mine again. Like I said, I used to leave one with Carolina downstairs, but she's gone away, and I've got such a terrible memory. I work evenings. So, you'll probably be in when I get home. Would that be okay? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't want to have your key. Oh, oh, okay. Why not? I don't think it's a good idea. You need to remember your keys every day. Well, yes. Put a, what do you call it? A thing like this, where you hang your coat? A hook? Put a hook on the door, just by the lock, with your keys. Then you won't forget. Well, yes, okay, that's a good idea. I just have to remember to put the keys on the hook. That's what he said. Really? I can be a good neighbor, but I'm not his mother. But then afterwards, I started to feel a bit sorry. Maybe I was too hard. And then this morning... May, hello. Are you in there? It's Milton. Hello. Hello. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. I'm fine. I haven't got any milk. I forgot to get any on Saturday. So I was wondering if... Do you think you could... You want me to give you some milk? Lend, lend, not give. Just a bit. Enough to put in my coffee. I can't. I don't have any milk. Oh. Really? I'm sorry. I don't want to be a bad neighbor, but I don't have any milk. Oh, that's okay. You're not a bad neighbor. How's the new flat? It's very nice. It's very big for one person. It's nothing like where I used to live in Beijing. There are three of us in our flat. My room's the smallest one, like a cupboard. It's tiny, but it's cheap. I like sharing, actually. I like being with other people. You never get lonely. Mm. Have you got any friends in London? No. Family? No. But that's okay. I've got a good job and that's why I'm here. And it's true. I'm here to work. I miss you all, but I'm okay. You know, I can look after myself, so don't worry about me. Give my love to John and tell her I've still got the jade frock she gave me. I carry it with me all the time. I'll write again soon. All my love, May. Right. 
Writing Home, Episode Three. Hi, Alfredo. How's life for my big brother? Have you heard from mom recently? Is she happy in Florida? I hope she's happy with Henry. She doesn't email or text. I must call her soon. But I did hear from Carolina yesterday. She says Emily's baby is beautiful, and she's having a great time. So won't be back just yet. I really miss her, you know. Still no luck with the work side of things here. I had two auditions last week. One was for a TV soap opera called All at Home, and the other was for a film about dinosaurs. Thank you, Mr. De Silva, but it's a no. I'm afraid you aren't quite what we're looking for for the part of Paul. Who's next? Okay, everybody, back on stage, please. Philip Jones and Arthur Primpton come back tomorrow. The rest of you can go home. Thank you for your time. But I'm not giving up yet. You know me, Mr. Positive. At least I got my part-time job. Okay, it's only delivering pizzas, but it helps to pay the bills. I can't take any more money from Mom or from you. This is the year when I have to stand on my own two feet. Like our new neighbor May, she's amazing. She's never been outside China before. She's here all alone without any friends or family. She's got a really good job and she's incredibly independent. Oh, no lift. I have the only flat in London with no lift. Hey, May! How's it going? Going? What's going? I'm bringing boxes in. Knock out. <laughs> Funny. Oh, you're serious, aren't you? You didn't understand. I'm moving heavy boxes and there's no lift. I'm not making jokes. How's it going means how are things? How are you? Is everything okay with you? Okay, of course, I knew that. I just wasn't concentrating. I'm fine, thanks, when I get these boxes up the stairs. What have you been buying? Ikea, huh? Some things for the kitchen and some shelves. And a desk and chair. All in... <clears throat> very heavy boxes. Here, let me help. I'll go backwards. Oh! I'll go backwards. Move around. N no, the other way. To the right. No, no, to your right. How do you say clockwise? You need to lift your end higher. Okay, that's all of it. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. I owe you a favor for letting me climb out of your kitchen window. When I thought you were a criminal, a burglar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing, but I'm sure burglars earn more money than I do. Perhaps I'll change my career. Do you want any help putting that furniture together? No, thanks. I'm fine. I've got some things, tools. It's easy. We have IKEA in Beijing, you know. Well, come and knock on the door if you need me. I'm going to work at 7.30. You said you work in the evenings. Are you in the play? Well, no, not exactly. Not really a play. You're an actor, aren't you? Yes, yes, that's right. Anyway, I'll let you get on with putting your furniture together. See you later. So, 
You see what I mean, Alfredo? She even knows how to put IKEA furniture together. What a neighbor. Anyway, time for work. So bye for now. Let me know how it's going with you. Writing Home, Episode 4 Hi there, Jesse. Hope everything's okay with you and the kids. Tell young Callum and Jamie their Uncle Robert sends his love. How's the new job going? We're really busy here at the hotel. Lots of tourists in London at this time of year. But you know I enjoy it. I've got another three months here as assistant manager and then, if I get a good report from my boss, I'll be able to take a manager's job in a small hotel somewhere. So, I did what I've wanted to do for ages and went to see him, Mr Rowlands, and ask about the chance of getting a transfer to Brazil. We both know that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. It went quite well, I suppose. Hello, Robert. Come on in. Take a seat. Good morning. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you? Nothing wrong, I hope? No, no. Not at all. Everything's going very well. I really enjoyed the job. I really wanted to talk about what I'm going to do next. You're not thinking of leaving us, I hope? No, no. I'm very happy with this company. I want to be a manager of one of your hotels. I'm very glad to hear it. But I was hoping that I could move to a hotel in a different country. When I finish my training, of course. When I become a manager. Well, we have a lot of hotels worldwide. I'm sure we could arrange something. Somewhere fairly small, of course. Were you thinking of Europe? The Middle East? Well, no, actually. I was thinking of Brazil. I really want to work in Brazil. Brazil, eh? Hmm. That's not so easy. We could probably find you something in the Middle East. Or China. We've got some new hotels opening there. Um... No, thank you. I really want to go to Brazil. Got your heart set on Brazil, eh? What's the story? Got yourself a Brazilian lady friend? <laughs> you want to join her on the beach in Copacabana? <laughs> <laughs> no, nothing like that. It's... um, Something personal. Something connected with my family. With my past, anyway. All right, Robert. I'll see what's available in Brazil. How's your Portuguese? Well, not very good, I'm afraid. But I'm going to have some lessons. Soon. Now. Well, you'll need good Portuguese if you want me to put you in charge of one of our Brazilian hotels. Got a lot of very good managers in Brazil already. All fluent in the language. Or native speakers. It's very. So that's good news and bad news, I suppose, Jesse. I don't remember any of the Portuguese we learnt when we were kids, do you? Just a few phrases and bits of songs that Chico used to sing. Not enough to manage a hotel. So. Excuse me. Yes, your class started at 7 o'clock. You're 20 minutes late. Quick, quick. In there, room 7. I'm sorry, yes. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about your language courses. I want to start Portuguese lessons. Brazilian Portuguese. We don't do Portuguese. We haven't got a teacher. English, German, Spanish and Mandarin Chinese. Mostly English, though. Most of our students are foreign students in London. They all want English support. 
Go and talk to that lady over there. In the blue blouse. She'll give you a test to decide your level of English. So nothing at all for me? No Portuguese? <sighs> Have a look on the notice board over there. The section on the left-hand side. People put adverts there. People who want lessons and people who give them. Might be a Portuguese teacher there somewhere. Ex excuse me, sorry. Hello, Braxton Language School. How can I help you? Thank you. So I left a card. Who knows? There must be Portuguese teachers in London. I'll have a look online later tonight. There must be other schools too. So, keep your fingers crossed, Jesse. Give Callum and Jamie a kiss from me. And one for yourself, of course. I'll try to come up to Scotland for Callum's birthday next month. I've got a few days leave to take. But don't say anything to him yet, just in case it... Writing Home, Episode 5 Hello, John. Are you missing me? I'm missing you. It would be nice to have someone to talk to. And I'm tired of speaking English all the time. We thought our English was so good, didn't we? Well, it's a lot harder than I thought. People say things that I don't understand. Things we didn't learn. There's a language school near my flat. So I went in to ask about lessons. Just to ask, you know. Yes. Yes, you can sign up for another two weeks if that's what you want to do. Here are the prices and timetables. Can I help you? Um, yes. I'm interested in English lessons. Okay. What kind of thing are you looking for? Exam preparation? We do all the Cambridge exams. IELTS. The brochures are all here. Look, English for academic purposes? I'm more interested in speaking. Conversation classes, maybe. I want to learn more natural English, how people really speak. I need more vocabulary and idioms, I think. More practice. Do you have those classes? Yes, we've got some conversation classes in the mornings. Have a look at the notice board over there. You can see the times and prices. Up there, at the top, the blue papers. That's it. It wasn't really what I wanted. I can't do classes in the morning when I start work. And the school was very busy and crowded. And everybody was really young. I think it's a place for students, really. People who come to London to study. But I did see something interesting. Hello, me. Hello, Milton. How's it going? Okay, thanks. What's up? I mean, do you need something? Milk? Can't get the IKEA furniture together? Funny. I went to the language school today. The one around the corner. Oh yeah? You don't need lessons, me. You speak really good English. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to have lessons. Not there, anyway. But I saw this. On the notice board, I took a photo. Here, look. Wanted. Portuguese lessons. Complete beginner. Six hours per week. Times and price to be agreed. Please call Robert... Macle... Macle... It's a Scottish name, I think. Mac... But it's strange. Mobile number 91373 
You speak Portuguese. You're Brazilian, aren't you? Well, yes, but I'm not a teacher. It can't be that difficult. He's a complete beginner. You just have to teach him. My name is Robert Mc... Blah, blah. How are you? And things like that. I don't know anything about grammar, though. I'm sure you can say, I am, you are, he is, in Portuguese. Think of the money you can earn. Oh, I don't know. It's good money, Milton. There were other advertisements on the board from teachers. They asked 25 or 30 pounds for an hour's lesson. 30 pounds an hour? How many hours does he want? Six. That's 180 pounds a week. <gasps> you could offer a cheaper price because you are not a qualified teacher. It's still a lot of money. Okay, May. Thanks. Thanks for thinking of me. I'm not sure I can do it, though. Take the number and phone Mr. Robert Ma... something. Phone him tonight before you go to work. So, I've done Milton another big, big favor. I am being a very good neighbor, John. You can meet him when you come and visit. Have to go to sleep now. First day at work on Monday, and I'm very nervous, so wish me lots of luck. I'll be taking a jade frog in my bag. Love you, May.